Student attendance tracking can be a bit of a challenge for teachers. Pen and paper records can get messy, and it's difficult to see attendance trends over time unless you manually input them into a computer. Even a spreadsheet on a computer can get pretty wild with or without a good system. Take a look at what I was using before. This is my awful looking attendance tracker I made in Google Sheets that took me forever to make. This worked great for years, but it took 20 plus hours to make and hundreds of lines of VLOOKUP formulas. On the back end, it was an absolute nightmare. Now, I knew I could use Notion for this, but properly tracking attendance in Notion had been a bit elusive and something I hadn't quite figured out how to do properly until now. With the addition of Buttons and Notion Formulas 2.0, I have found a way to do attendance tracking that is easy, fast, and effective. So in this video, I'll show you how you can properly do attendance tracking in Notion. Okay, here we have my attendance day tracker that I have put together in Notion. Uh, it's pretty simple how it works. It just has two main databases. It has a database for attendance days, and then it also has a student list database. And the two are connected by a few relation properties. Uh, so let's take a look at how it works. Uh, in the attendance day here, uh, a new entry is created for every new day. And so we can see here that we have a new day for today. We have a few properties. We have a property for date, uh, a formula that just tells us the day of the week. And then we have three relation properties that are related to the student database. And this is how we mark uh, the status of each student for that day. So to mark attendance, all we would do is tag a student to one of these three status properties. Here we have present, absent, and late students. So if a student is present for that day, we would then tag this student to the present relation property in the attendance entry. So let's click a few of these students here to see how this works. We can see that we now have three students here, Aiden, Daniel, Amanda. Let's now tag maybe some students absent, maybe David and Benjamin. And so for each new day, you would just tag students to these three status properties. And then over time, it calculates how many days they are tagged to each status. And this is how you get your overall kind of attendance grade or attendance score. So if we see over here, we can click on uh, this week and then we can click on all. And you can see kind of what it looks like over time. We have a new entry created every single day and for each day you will tag students either present, absent, or late. Now originally you had to do this manually by selecting uh, the relation property and then finding each student and that was pretty slow to do. Uh, but now with the addition of uh, buttons we can do this really really quickly. So if we take a look at our student list here we can see uh, a list of our student names sorted by each class. Uh, we also have some button properties. We have a button property for present, absent, late, and then reset. And so what this will do is when you click any one of these status buttons, it will automatically uh, tag them to one of these statuses, uh, kind of like I showed you earlier, but it does it automatically. So let's try and do that and see what it looks like. Let's find our E6 low students here. We have Daniel, David, Emily, Ethan. And if we, let's just give them the status for present for all of them. We can see now that their status has changed to present. And if we look up here, they have now shown up here. Let's try another demonstration by marking some students late this time. Let's go down to uh, M2 high and we'll mark a few students late. Let's mark a few students absent as well. Again, we can see that their status has changed. And if we scroll up here, we can see now that these students have been tagged to absent and late. So what is actually going on here? Well, let's take a look at one of our button properties and see what's actually going on. Let's go into edit property and I'm gonna zoom in here so we can see a little better. Okay, so when the button is clicked, there is a very simple automation that happens. What it's doing is it's searching inside the attendance day database for any attendance day where the date is today. Then it will either add or remove a student to one of those three status properties. For this one, we have the present button, and so it is adding this student to the present student relation property. Now, something to note is that it is only affecting the attendance day where the start date is equal to today. And this is pretty important, because if we come over here, uh, we can see that our attendance day is here for today. If we were to delete this and then press any of our buttons, 
Well, nothing would happen because there is no attendance day set to today. If we were to click on new, a new day is created, and then we can begin to do our attendance. We can then see our students are now tagged to today. So that's something to keep in mind that those buttons only affect the attendance day entry that is has the date set to today. If you want to retroactively change a student's attendance, you would have to go into the all view and then manually add the students. Another way you could view attendance also is by clicking into the attendance day, and then we can nicely see uh, the students that are present, absent, and late for that day. We can also move students around this way by kind of removing them and then adding them here as well. Now, something to keep in mind with this specific template is that a new day entry is automatically created every single day. And so if we go over to the blue arrow here, we can see we have a template for attendance day, and we can see that we have the repeat setting on to repeat uh, daily. So if we click this here, we can see that uh, every single day, uh, a new template will be created at 12 a.m. Uh, at GMT uh, plus nine. So currently I'm living in uh, Seoul, South Korea. So if you were to use uh, this template, which is available in the description down below, uh, make sure to set this time to your time zone so a new day is created uh, at the start of, of your day. Now you may have noticed that when we pressed the present, absent, or late buttons, uh, that the student's status uh, kind of indicator changed here. And so what this does is it searches through the attendance day uh, database for the one that is set today, and it checks which students are present, absent, or late, and then gives them a status property. It is only checking for uh, a status set for today. So when a new day is created uh, tomorrow, then their status will reset back to uh, not applicable. Having this automatic status indicator allows you to take attendance really quickly and also see what the student is tagged to that day. So if we look at our example here, M2 high, we can quickly go down our list, setting the student's attendance status. And then we can also see uh, what they have been set to. So if we had made a mistake, we already know what they are set to. So we don't have to scroll back up here and find their name and then move them, change them and whatever. Having these status buttons allows you to take attendance really quickly. You can find your class list with all of your students and then just quickly go down the list uh, selecting attendance, uh, which I find is actually faster than any other kind of uh, spreadsheet you might use, say with Google Sheets or Excel, or even with pen and paper. It's just incredibly fast. Okay, but now what if you wanted to only see the attendance record for a given date? Maybe you just wanted to see the attendance uh, for a given semester. Well, this is where uh, Notion Formulas uh, 2.0 comes in. Uh, Notion Formulas 2.0 brought us a, a few new functions called the map function and the filter function. And now we can specify a date range for when students have been tagged to an attendance day. So if we open one of our students here, we can see that we have a record date. Right now, it is just set for the entire year of 2024. Now, if you wanted just a specific semester, you could change the start date and the end date. Uh, it's really important that you have both these dates. It's just how the uh, formulas uh, work. I'm not going to explain in detail how all of these different properties work, but you just need to keep in mind you need to set a beginning date and an end date for which you want to set the attendance record. Now to do this, you could manually do it for each student by saying, by selecting a different date. Uh, but then you would have to do that manually for each of the students, and that would be kind of slow. And so what I have added in this template is a bulk date uh, modifier. So we have a button here with some instructions. If we click into the settings, what you can do is then change the record date here and pick a date. And so what we could do is we could go and select our start date and our new end date, uh, maybe 
you select a specific uh, semester, click on done, and then click on set record. And so it'll give us a little prompt if we want to continue. So what this will do is it will bulk set the record date for every single student in your student list. If we click on continue, uh, now it has changed the record date uh, for every single student. So what this will do is it will look through all of the attendance days within that date range and only consider those days. And then what will happen are these attendance uh, progress bars uh, will change automatically and adjust to the given date range that you have set. Having the ability to set a custom attendance date uh, was actually one of the most frequent requests I received from fellow teachers. Okay, now this is optional, but if you have the Ultimate Teacher Planner, you can also take attendance very quickly inside your class pages. So if we come over to classes here and click on one of our classes and scroll down, we can see that our student list will appear here and we can quickly take attendance inside our classes. Uh, I find this is a very fast way to take attendance. Usually at the start of class, I will bring up my class page on uh, my computer and then just do roll call and marking attendance as we go down the names. And I find this is as fast or faster than any other way of taking attendance you could imagine. This type of attendance tracking is by far the fastest that exists in Notion and works exceptionally well. If you would like a copy of this template for free, check out the link in the description down below. Or if you are interested in the complete teaching system, you can also check out the Ultimate Teacher Planner.